a new sports field is being created here. Soon, students at this primary school will be able to play rugby on it. But first, grass has to be grown on the field with the help of special climate-friendly compost. Eddie Redlinghouse is the man behind the compost. Here he's explaining the finer points of healthy soil to his daughter. His family has been in farming for over a hundred years. Healthy soil, you can stick your fingers in it easily. It's loose, it's got air in it. It's a happy soil. I started composting because I changed my farming from conventional to organic. Um, and uh, to change to organic, I needed to find a good compost. So I, I looked right through the Cape Town region and we couldn't find any good compost. But to make his own compost, he had to find something to make it out of. In this case, the answer lay in Cape Town. Tourism is the biggest source of income for sunny Cape Town. Since the Second World Cup, Cape Town has been polishing its image as a green city. Greenpoint Park, the site of the city's World Cup stadium, is a green oasis. It's been a few years now since the city disposed of the park's garden waste in dumps. Instead, it goes to the compost maker. It's a win-win situation, both financially and ecologically. This enabled us to save land, landfill space, which, as you know, is very expensive. Um, and we also don't have space for landfills in South Africa. Um, we do have space, but far away, and it would create um, a, a lot of driving and obviously add to the carbon emissions, and we're very sensitive to this, and this is why we've started this program. The park makes for huge amounts of garden waste and clippings. Workers in the city's Greenpoint Park trim and snip here every day, and their work generates some 40 tons of garden waste each month. Um, and they maintain the stadium grounds continuously, even though it's only used sporadically at the moment, and this creates still more garden waste. Processing this organic waste into compost is better for the climate than letting it slowly rot in dumps, which creates greenhouse gases. We're at a point now where the city is, is saving 100,000 cubic meters of landfill space every month. Um, and uh, that equates to, in a year, over 100,000 tons of um, carbon emissions that are being saved. Trucks carrying the garden waste are on their way to the compost facility, a good half hour's drive outside of Cape Town. Climate-friendly composting is awarded carbon certificates for emissions trading, so the trucks first have to be weighed. To qualify for emissions trading, the composting company has to prove the exact tonnage involved. It takes about eight weeks and a fair bit of technology to turn green waste into compost. A machine sorts out pieces bigger than five centimeters. These big chunks aren't composted. Water is regularly added in order to maintain the right temperature and moisture balance. Samples are regularly sent to the lab for quality control. Our compost maker has been working for two years to perfect his formula. The university has helped him find just the right microorganisms to decompose the garden waste. Through the seasons, you also have a change in raw material just coming out of gardens because in winter you have dry leaves um, and dry wood um, and in summer a lot more green and it's, it's different uh, microorganism groups that work on them. Originally, Eddie made compost for his own use, but it's turned into a successful business and a job creator, a boon for a country struggling with high levels of unemployment. And there are plans to expand the company. We've been speaking to um, all the other major municipalities in, in South Africa and trying to convince them to go the same way. And uh, at least uh, five or six of them 
are very close to making that step. Some of the compost is sold at nurseries and garden centers. But the big buyers aren't hobby gardeners. Full-time farmers buy most of it for their land. And as you can see, we work a nice bar. Eddie Redlinghouse says his compost improves the taste of fruit. The advantages of using uh, Reliance compost is you get improved water holding capacity in your soils. You get your organic fraction comes up. Your soils become healthier because of all the microorganisms that start giving life back to the soil, um, which ends up you needing to use less pesticides and fungicides on your plants. Um, and all of that is, is beneficial to the environment. Producing compost to make money while simultaneously supporting climate protection is quite an attractive idea in 2012. In any case, back at the school, the kids will be happy when their new sports field is finished and covered in grass grown with the help of climate-friendly compost.